On the bus to saying here from fighthype.com and I'm here with the with the champ, the WBA international lightweight champ Joe Cordina. Joe, who you just pulled off a, a great performance, third round stoppage against Hakim Ben Hakim Ben Ali. That's the one, Hakim Ben Ali. Talk to me about that fight. Um, he's a, a late replacement, um, but he's very durable. He's, he's gone the distance, and it was meant to be a big step up for me. Um, he's had 24 fights, 119, uh, and he's been the championship rounds. He's been 12 and 10 rounds, um, uh, and um, more than one occasion. So um, I was expecting at least to uh, go the distance tonight. Um, I didn't expect I was going to stop him. But as soon as I started hitting him to the body, and he, he was wincing, uh, I knew they were the shots I was going to. Uh, get him out of there so I just kept working to the body and he, he just got on his bike and he, he kept he kept moving away knowing I was was um, was targeting that area. How hard is it to pre prepare for a fight uh, very close to the fight? You were prepared for Andy Town and initially yeah. that fight got called off very late and you've got to prepare for a different style, different type of fights. How hard is that? It's not it's not it's not that hard. For me, um, like I said to everyone is in in the amateurs over a ten day tournament I'd fight five times to get to the final. Mm -hmm. and, and some of them fights you don't have footage fighters you don't have footage of them. So you're completely in the dark. So you have to go out there and adapt. And with that I got twelve uh, ten rounds and um, the first couple of rounds I was only gonna go out there and to feel him out, see what he had and then step on the gas. Um, which I did but as soon as I did start sinking a couple into the body um, he folded and for, for me I wasn't I wasn't really in in full swing of uh, things I was only just getting warmed up um, so f for myself um, it don't, it's not, it's, it don't really phase me the change of opponents like I said it, it, it's just something you have to you you adapt to and as great fighters do that that's what they, that's what they 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 do they, they manage to adapt I'm sure you've sat down with Eddie here at some point what's the sort of plan for 2018 and yourself um, I, there's no plan it's just take one step at a time one fight at a time and um, it's not so much that Eddie it's got to be when Tony my trainer and manager um, says it's time and he works with Eddie and and and, and that's what they that's what they do they'll they'll sit down and they'll have a, a chat and then Tony will come back with me and, 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 and we'll talk through things and, and see where we go but um, this was my future and it stopped it stopped here and then um, now it's take time to take a little bit of time out and when I get back in the gym that's when I can start uh, sitting down and, and looking at what avenue to go down. I just want to ask you about a fight that's been made uh, in the States Hoy Linares Vasily Lomachenko who do you see winning that fight? Um, I think wrong. I've, I sparred Linares. Um, very great. He's a great fighter. He's one of my favourite fighters. Um, Sugar Ray Leonard is my favourite fighter of all time. And then you've got Linares and Canelo, um, and then sort of fights even Lomachenko as uh, one of my great fighters. But um, Linares is unbelievable. But I think I think Lomachenko's just got going to have a little bit too much. I think um, Linares will give him problems, but um, he always Lomachenko was always finds a way. Um, even in the amateurs, he only lost one out of three hundred. 97 so um, and it, there was always great fighters out there um, in the amateurs but I just think Lomachenko got a little bit too much for him. And Champ how are you going to be celebrating tonight? Um, I'm gonna go and get a pizza I think. Yeah. Go and get a pizza. Um, there's a there's a party going to be thrown to me tonight for, uh, for me tonight and um, I might head back there and uh, just celebrate with a couple of people. Joe thank you very much for talking to Fahad.com. Thank you.